Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this module we will see how the database backups and restore works in Azure SQL. In a Azure SQL Pass model, Microsoft will manage your database backups. You do not have a direct access to download the database backup file. In this module, we will see how to configure automatic database backup. And in a restore part, there are many options to restore your database from automatic database backup in case of any system outage. Uh, data center unavailability or any unwanted deletion, updation or any data related issue, how you can restore your database. And in the demo section, we are going to see how to configure the database backups as well as different techniques to restore the database. So without wasting a time, let's get started. See you in the next video. In this video, we are going to understand how the automatic database backup works. As you know, in Azure Pass model, your database backups are managed by the Microsoft. Now let's understand certain property of Azure Automatic Database Backup. Your, in, the, in the automatic database backups, your first full backup will trigger immediately once your database is created in Azure SQL. After that, your full backups occurs every weekly, your differential backups occur every 12 to 24 hours and your log backup backups will trigger every 5 to 10 minutes. Now the log backup schedule is depends on your compute size and the amount of loads in your database. Database retention period, your database backups are available 7 days for basic tier and 35 days for standard and premium tier. Also, you can configure the long term retention backups and your database backups are available up to 10 years. These database backups are stored in a geo redundant storage block. It means that in case of any database unavailability or your data center unavailability, you can get this database backup file. Regarding the storage cost, there is no additional cost for DTU purchasing model and for vCore purchasing model, there is no extra cost till the time your database backup file is equal to your database size. After that, the charge will be per GB per month. Regarding the security, TD is by default enabled in Azure SQL. It means that your database is secure at the rest. Database integrity is managed by the Microsoft. Apart from that, you do not have a direct access to download this database backup file and you, you cannot manually restore this uh, database from automatic backups. All the, backups all the backup files are compressed to reduce the storage cost and you can restore the database using the Azure portal, PowerShell or Azure CLI. You can take manually backups using backpack and backpack file and in the demo section we are going to understand this all properties about the automatic database backups. So see you in the demo. Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video I will show you how to configure the database backups, how to configure the long term retention backups and how to take a backpack file. Now as you know that in the Microsoft Azure SQL, Microsoft will take care of your database backup. You can't download the database backup file as well as you can't see the database backup file but you have a facility to configure the database backups based on your database backup strategy. For example, the certain company require the database backup files up to seven years due to the audit purpose. And Microsoft will take the full backup immediately once your database got created. And after that, Microsoft schedule a database backup jobs like weekly full backup, 12 to 24 hours differential backup, and every 5 to 10 minutes take log backup. Now let's quickly create a database in Azure and configure a long term retention backup. So go to the Azure portal and create the database. So create a new here I am going to create a new resource group, production. And 
give the database name prd dev and create a new server and click ok I am going to go with the basic configuration in the additional setting I am going with the sample option review and create deployment is started it will take two to three minutes yes so now the deployment is completed go to resources now you are in the uh, database section our database name is prd dev and our server name is prd db now go to the server prd db and inside the server we have a section called backups so click a backup and go click the retention policies and select the database and click the configure policy now here the first section is point in time restore by default the database backups are available seven days for basic service tier and for standard and premium service tier the database backups are available up to 35 days now you can change this configuration based on your need so i go with the one day now in the below section we have to configure the long term retention backups long term retention backups we have three configuration either you go with the weekly ltr backups or a monthly ltr backups and yearly ltr backups now let's understand each and every point for example weekly ltr backups let's say if i give a one and here i give one year it means that each weekly full backup will be available for next one year similarly let's give the one and give one month it means that the first full backup of each month will be kept for one month now let's understand certain example so if you see here let's go with the first example week 0 month 0 year 5 and week of year is 3 it means that the third full backup of each year will be kept for 5 years similarly week 0 month 3 and year 0 it means that the first full backup of each month will be kept for 3 month so let's configure this configuration so i am going to select 0 0 and 3 so it means that the first full backup of each month will be kept up to 3 month now let's say week 12 month 0 year 0 so let's configure this configuration 0 it means that each weekly full backup will be kept for 12 week okay let's configure this week 6 month 12 year 10 and week 16 it means that each weekly full backup will be kept for 6 week except first full backup of each month will be kept for 12 month and except the full backup taken on 16th week of year will be kept for 10 years okay so i hope you understand this configuration i am going to cancel it So till now we have configured the database backups as well as we have configured the long term retention backup. Now let's understand the how to create the backpack file. So for that go to the overview.
copy the server name and login inside the server. Now let's assume that this is my PID database and I want to restore into the local server. So for that I want to create first backpack file. Now you can create a backpack file into the local disk as well as the Microsoft storage account. I go with the first option local disk and give the database name. Click next and click finish button. Your database backpack file will create. Now the operation is completed and you can see here your database backpack file is available. <clears throat> now how to restore the database in Azure as well as how to restore this backpack file into the local server that we will see into the restore section. Again if you see here let's go to the portal and go to the server uh, go to the data management backups. So here you can see now also Microsoft is also take the database backup and the latest database backup are available for the restore purpose. Okay, so I hope you will now understand how the database backups work in Azure. If you have any doubt, then please drop me an email. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.